Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a brief overview of what a Tech2 scanner can do and why it's necessary if you own one of these. Here's my Tech2 clone. It's a Chinese knockoff. I'll put the link down in the description of exactly where I purchased it on uh, eBay. There's a whole bunch of them available. I got pointed to this particular seller by another uh, Hummer enthusiast and a diesel mechanic. That's the one I bought. It's been working great for me. Um, it comes with the CAN interface, the CAN bus interface, which you're gonna need on your Hummer, unless you've got an older one. Mine's a 2004, and it requires this to interface and connect to uh, all the different computers in the vehicle. Um, and then you've got a few different steps you should follow when you're connecting it and using it, and I'll go through those here in just a second. I'm here in the front of the truck. Let's uh, get this thing set up. So first things first, do not connect it to your OBD2 port yet. You want to grab this cable. This end here needs to be plugged in to your Tech 2 right there. And there's a little red light on the connector to tell you if you have power or not. Find your cigarette lighter adapter. I'm using this one right here in front of the back seats. I've got power. So now that I've got power, I've got this connected. Um, I have the other end my OBT2 connector that's on the end of this cable. I'm gonna take this and plug it into the OBD2 port on the truck. At this point, key is still in the off position. Tech 2 is still in the off position. So let's go down here. There is our OBD2 connector. Come to the main splash screen, hit enter. Now we're gonna hit diagnostics. Select our year. This is a 2004. In 2004, it's going to be categorized under a medium duty truck. Hummer H1. And you can check some things on your body, mainly radio, it looks like. I haven't messed with that, but I think it just shows you voltage and your current radio settings if you still have the factory radio installed. You can do a diagnostic circuit check. And then if you go to powertrain, you can do uh, display or diagnostic trouble codes for either your uh, transmission or your engine. In this case, when we go to powertrain, we'll check codes, say for engine, for example. Diagnostics, uh, DTCs, that's the engine codes the error codes. So with um, OBD2 scanners, generally you'll have your engine DTCs that show up, the P0 whatever codes. Um, here it is, we're gonna come up probably no codes. But with most other scanners that are not the Tech 2, you're not gonna be able to scan your transmission and you're not gonna get a lot of the detailed information for your engine. Um, so here we'll be able to, to see the transmission codes as well. Um, data display is very useful when you're troubleshooting. Let's see what sort of data we get for the engine. You got your idle speed, desired idle speed, all your different sensors, your math, map sensor, your absolute pressure sensor, your boost sensor, barometer. So as you can see, you get very granular information. And if any of your sensors are not reading correctly or not reading at all, it would be very easy to see here as far as what those sensors are doing. You've got uh, fuel temperature. These are all important. Engine shutoff solenoid. Um, all of these things, right? I'm just going to scroll through them so you can see what sort of information we're getting. And you can see there down the bottom, 33 of 57. 57 total sensors it's reading data from. And right now we're on number 36. Lots of detailed data here. So there you go.
go. That is your data display for your engine. Let's look at the transmission data display. So for the transmission data, it's broken down even further. You've got your one-two shift data, um, your torque converter, uh, solenoid data. You've got a lot of breakdowns here. Your transmission adaptations down there at the bottom. I'm just going to click on transmission data so you can see what the roll-up looks like. There's going to be some overlap with the other categories, and there's going to be some other information that uh, is not overlap. And here is the transmission data, and this is coming from the TCM. And again, I'll scroll through them so you can see what all can be seen here. Commanded gear, shift one, two, solenoid is on, two, three, solenoid is off. temperature it's up to 60 it's about 35 degrees outside so it's warmed up a little bit since the truck's been running for uh, for a few minutes actual current reference current the brake switch for the torque converter slip speed for the torque converter, last shift time. So there it is. That is just a really short brief overview of what sort of data the Tech 2 shows. It gets much, much more detailed. You can run through test procedures. You can uh, have it change certain variables on the fly as you're doing different tests. Uh, there, there's a lot of useful things you can do with these Tech 2s that a normal scanner, scanner will not do for you. If you have a Hummer H1, you absolutely need one if you're going to be working on it yourself and doing any sort of troubleshooting. I'll put the link down in the description below of exactly where I got it. There's lots of different sources for them with varying levels of quality. I've had great luck with this one. Uh, it's been fantastic. It's helped me troubleshoot some of the problems, both basic and complicated. And I think uh, if you do have a Hummer, you really need one of these. Even if you have some of the uh, Chevy or GM trucks and vehicles um, from the mid to late 90s all the way up until I think these work on most GM vehicles up to around 2013 or 14, uh, you really need a Tech 2. I hope you enjoyed this video. hope it was helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm always happy to help. And like always, I love you guys. I will see you next time.